Hey, the LA Kingdom. I'm James, and today I'm going to be attempting the 1 minute, 10 minutes, 60 minutes practice challenge, where after each of those durations of time, I have to attempt to perform Rimsky Korsakov's Flight of the Bumblebee. Now, I couldn't find any viola sheet music for this, so I'm just going to read off the violin sheet music and transpose in my head a fifth down as I go, which will just make it a bit of an extra challenge. I'm going to attempt to approach world record speed, which is about 200 beats per minute. I have my timer set for one minute, uh, so we're going to get started right away. Okay, very quickly, I'm just going to try and get the opening two bars down. I have to choose a fingering really fast. That'll have to do for now. I'm not sure if it's the best. All those days of sight reading through orchestra have prepared me for this. Ah, oh, it's already a minute. <laughs> okay, I just I just practiced like four bars, so. I'll go until I just completely screw it all up. <laughs> yeah, I think I just went off pitch there. Um, well, I, I guess I sort of got the first few bars down. I'm gonna practice it for nine more minutes. Gotta set my timer. And we keep the challenge rolling. Nine minutes starts now. Okay. Uh, same idea. I'm just going to try and get a little bit farther and maybe do some metronome work. Um, so, right where I left off. <laughs> to write down my fingerings as I go uh, otherwise I'm definitely not going to remember them and then I'll just be wasting my time <laughs> actually not shifting enough with my first finger, which is deceptive because I think it has to be crammed in there, but because it's in the lower section of the viola, then it's actually not that tiny of a space. Okay, the next line is like the same thing, just a fifth higher, which is good news for me because I can play a thing a fifth lower. <laughs> Should I really be using a fourth finger for a B flat on the G string? Uh, good question. That part's easy. I got it. Yeah, it's so out of tune. Here I'm shifting right on the big beat. It just makes the shift a little bit easier. I just in the middle of pointing the fingerings, but I guess I won't get to. That's the end of my uh, 10 minutes of practice. So I guess I sort of looked at the first page. It's not very secure at all, but I'll just, uh, I'll see what it sounds like. Hope it's not too gruesome. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't practiced anymore. Um, well, let's see, how far did I get? Uh, maybe halfway. Um, very questionably, to be fair. <laughs> the thing about this piece is, like, because it's all chromatics, 
if you're a little bit off on a shift or something and you don't catch it right away, then you just sort of end up being halfway between a few different pitches, which is really bad and sounds terrible. Um, and also coordination. I think those are the two biggest things I need to work on in the next 50 minutes. So I still have about 45 minutes left. Uh, I think it should be fine. I'm still in the process of just putting in fingerings for the rest of the piece. I feel like that's absolutely necessary. Otherwise, I'll just forget where I'm supposed to shift because it happens so fast. I did catch myself playing a fifth too high a few minutes ago. I just need to remember I'm transposing for the entire piece. Ah! Oh. You can't trust wire stands. The wire stand has betrayed me. I'm finally done putting fingerings in the entire piece. Uh, leaving me with about 30 minutes. Now the plan is play through everything slowly, figure out where the difficult spots are going to be, then get to work with my metronome. I'm failing at these pitches. Yeah, I'll do the first one, left-hand pizzicato, and then I'll be all set. Hmm, this ending is actually pretty tricky. Maybe I'll start by getting the ending up to some kind of, something near speed. So this is like, full tempo. Oh man, can I even play that fast with just the bow? I guess technically yes. Oh, man. Yeah, the, the open strings, sometimes you think it's fourth finger and then you try to shift to your fourth finger, which just makes it so much harder. enough. I'm going back to the beginning for now. I keep forgetting to do the dynamics, so I'm going to try really hard this time to do the dynamics and exaggerate them. Oh man, this is kind of a disaster. Uh, how much time do I have left? 13 minutes now. Just for today, if it's not perfectly in tune, it's not the end of the world. This is 152. And I haven't practiced the second page yet, so we're gonna do that now. I'll be sort of able to play it in 10 more minutes. I shifted in the wrong spot again. Ooh, I have three minutes left. Let me try this middle section at 150 first, and then I'll go over some spots really quickly. Ah, oh, it's so flat. That's the timer. Okay. Well, after practicing uh, Flight of the Bumblebee for a total of an hour, I am now going to attempt to play it at about 150 beats per minute, which is definitely way too fast. And I'm totally going to mess up a lot, but that's just going to make it funny, hopefully. So here we go. Rimsky Korsakov's, well, in pop culture, his most known work, except performed on the viola.
We're on record. Woo! Uh, I don't know. I did mess up a few times. I did hit a lot of the notes, though, to be fair. I think if I practice it a little bit more, I could be able to break the viola world record or be close to David Garrett's record. That was the definition of sacrilegious. But it was pretty fun. My hands got really tired as I was playing through that. I hope you enjoyed seeing me struggle and getting increasingly stressed out over the course of the challenge. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time, Viola Kingdom.